So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, we have a brand new beta for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is the version 1.17.30.21, now available for Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. Here is the confirmation from Jay Wells, Mega Spud, Community Manager, give him a follow. We're fixing a few more beta bugs today. Check out the change log for Minecraft beta 1.17.30.21 here and posted a link. If you want to check out the change log, it is down below. There is also a tweet from Hendrik, a Minecraft Java developer. He tweeted the other day, okay Minecrafters, we've now shipped 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 3. Try it out, ideally in survival and give us your feedback. So I'm gonna be honest with you, in today's beta, we really don't have too many changes. We have a couple of Java parity, a couple of bug fix, but really not too much. It seems that Minecraft Bedrock is slightly starting to fall behind in terms of the 1.18 features because in the latest snapshots this week, Minecraft Java had some huge changes to generation. No changes this week, for Minecraft Bedrock. As always, if you do enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like. I do really appreciate it and it helps other people find these videos. Starting off with features and bug fixes. Starting off with stability and performance. Everybody's favorite. Fixed several crashes that could occur during gameplay. So when you are playing Minecraft and your game just randomly crashes and you're like, wait, what, why, yeah. They're the fixes they're talking about. Fixed an issue that could cause a crash when downloading large marketplace worlds. The next one, fixed an issue that could cause a crash or prevent worlds from being accessed or opened on some Android 11 devices. Here is the official bug report. Cannot load or create any worlds in 1.17.30.20 beta if using external storage. A lot of people did report this bug. It was only a bug in the last beta, but has been fixed in this one. Getting into the Minecraft Java Edition vanilla parity features matched respawn from bed behavior with Java by attempting to avoid placing the player on damage dealing blocks when waking up from a bed. So I did some testing in the previous beta and some testing in today's beta. So the first issue is whenever you were sleeping in a bed like this, it would spawn you here. So the first thing we need to do is forward slash time set night forward slash game mode s. We're going to sleep in the bed. If done correctly, it's going to spawn us where we're not going to take damage or go through the wall. So as you can see, we that's still a little bit weird though. We should still be here. We should technically not be there. So this still might not be 100% perfect, but don't worry. I've set up a, that's that's so much better. We spawned there that time. Maybe it depends on where you're accessing the bed. Let's sleep again. But anyway, uh, the bug report was showing people spawning on the other side of the wall. Let me show you. This is the bug report. Players can spawn in an incorrect location when waking up from a bed. So basically they were like build this and here is a video showing you what happened. So you sleep, you're expecting to spawn and get out your house. No, it's like I'm just gonna put you outside. So I did another test here. We have a magma block here, here and here. So is this bed gonna spawn me here and here preventing me from spawning on this? Because if we spawn on this of course we're gonna take damage. So Let's sleep and, and see if this works. Let's see if they've actually fixed this mechanic in this. Yeah, they did. They did. Okay, so they did a pretty good job there. Let's try it from this side. Or is it always going to put me on that one side? And we spawn this side as well. So at least that's been fixed. The next change matched respawn from bed behavior with Java by attempting to place the player on the side of the bed they entered from when waking up from a bed. So basically what I've just showed you, if you are going to sleep this side, you should wake up this side. If you're going to sleep this side, you should wake up 
this side. And that is probably why I was kind of here. Um, so it's going to attempt to put you where you were last at before you slept. I like that change. There is a feature that a lot of people in the Minecraft Bedrock community don't like. Mob spawners no longer emit light. And this is a Java parity. So on Minecraft Bedrock, if we do forward slash time set night. Previously, this would emit a very, very tiny bit of light. It was nothing crazy, but people were like, why would you not make Java like the bedrock version and just emit a very slight bit of light? So spawners as of this version and as of 1.17.30 in the future will not emit light. Couple of changes with mobs. Well, specifically powdered snow. Staying close to powdered snow doesn't protect undead mobs from burning under sunlight. Let me show you the bug report. Undead mobs don't burn on the north and west blocks near powdered snow. For some reason, it was just happening. So basically there was a specific angle where skeletons or zombies, wherever there was powdered snow, they just wouldn't burn. Now this is like the second or maybe third time something like this linked to powdered snow has been fixed. Character creator. Infinity loading no longer appears after selecting the C pack in store button within the skin pack description section of the dressing room. User interface and hood. Fixed an issue where the item category text color did not match the item text color if it was changed in resource packs. Fixed an issue where patterns in the loom would not display correctly with some texture packs. Technical updates. Let's read the change log. So if you are interested in the technical side of Minecraft, here are your latest changes. There is changes to data-driven blocks, Molang, graphics, data-driven items, Molang again, and the user interface. The change log, it's down below. So there we have it. Another week, another beta. It's nothing huge, but I did tell you whether it was a small beta or a big beta, I would be here to keep you all covered. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's hope that next week we can get a couple of like really cool 1.18 changes like generation that seems to be the main focus in 1.18 but i will admit the changes to beds is a pretty cool one so it's good to see that this will literally place you where you went to sleep with that being said have a great day if you made it to the end of the video you're the mvp and i'll catch you all in the next video goodbye